Hello everyone and welcome to Moonlight Jewel. My name is Elisa and today we are going to make Super Sailor Venus. But before we get started, I wanted to let you know that due to the new rules on YouTube starting in 2020, my content might change a little in the beginning of next year, since these new rules might affect all of us doll customizers as well. I want to point out that doll customizing is not suitable for children, since we as artists work with a lot of dangerous materials such as X-Acto knives or Mr. Super Clear. We create art dolls and not dolls to play with. Also, destroying a doll can cause unrepairable damage to personal property. Therefore, discretion is advised and a younger audience should not watch our videos without adult supervision. Alright, I think we're settled and ready to start with Sailor Venus. For Sailor Venus, I'm going to use this doll as a base. I'm removing her factory paint using pure acetone and then cut off all her hair. After I removed the head and the rest of the hair inside it, I airbrushed her skin to a more human-like skin tone and begin her face up by blushing her cheeks and lips with soft pastels after spraying it with Mr. Super Clear. After spraying her again, I'm adding some blushing to the scalp as well. I'm starting to sketch out her eyes. I always take my time with this process and only spray her again when I'm satisfied with the result. Now I'm adding some shading to the iris with beautiful shades of blue. I'm drawing her eyebrows by first adding pastel chalk dust and then defining them with pencils. I also add more depth to the pupils. Here I already drew the lashes on one eye and do the same now on the other side. After a few layers and some more pearly shimmers, I'm adding whites and highlights to the eyes. Now I just need to gloss her lips and the face is already done. Before gluing her hair, I'm making the tiara. I glued together some gold vinyl shapes and paint the little gem. After I glued on the orange gem that I painted, I realized that it's actually a yellow gem she has on her tiara, so I changed that later. For her hair, I'm going to use monofiber from Retro Dolls US in the color Cersei. 
I made wefts with the hair and start to glue them to the head. I already pinned down the tiara to the head before. I'm working my way around the head until she looks something like this. Then I'm taking her front hair and style them in her hairstyle. I had so much trouble styling the slippery hair that I ended up doing that off camera. In the end I just curled the front hair and sewed everything in place on the back. Then I made a little red ribbon and glued it to the back of her hair. Now I'm making her choker. I'm just gluing a little star to an orange satin ribbon for that. I already prepared her bodysuit and now sew the sleeves by layering two folded satin ribbons with one layer of transparent organza ribbon. Then I'm just gluing it to the bodysuit and close all the remaining seams. I already ironed on the stripes for her collar and just need to glue down the seam allowance. On her skirt I'm using fray check on the bottom seam, glue it down and then sew down the pleats. I already sewed together the waistband and just added to the skirt and cut off the axis. I usually burn satin ribbon edges with a lighter. For making her shoes I took these heels and added some UV resin to them to make the surface smooth. Then I sand and paint them in a nice orange shade. I 
also glued some satin ribbon for the straps onto them. I wanted to make her love chain belt as well, so I'm making a mold from these little half beads with some silicon first. After unmolding it, I can add some UV resin I mixed with golden micro glitter. After curing, they look like this. I made quite a lot of them and paint the middle part red. After that was done, they look like this. Now I'm just gluing them to a golden chain using UV resin. And her belt is done! Now it's time to assemble her outfit. I sewed her into the bodysuit and first add the collar. Then I'm adding her blue ribbon in the front and a little heart brooch. The next thing is her choker and the glove ends. After I added the skirt, I'm gluing around the belt and also at the back ribbon and her shoes. Also Minako needs Artemis, right? I found this LPS cat and it fits just perfectly. I just need to add a little crescent moon. And we're done! How do you like her? I always think it's so cool how different certain dolls look with a new face. I really like how her hair turned out, even though it was such a pain to style. I also like how soft she looks. What do you like most? Please let me know in the comments below.
And yeah, here she is. The basic Sailor Scout team is finally complete. Now just the other senshis are missing. Next will be Super Sailor Uranus and I'm really excited to make her. And as always, big thanks to my patrons. Akanet Sailors, Andrea, Ashley M, Aria, Barbara Walker, Brittany Bosquet, Carolina Fröhlich, Cassia Streamland, Christo1314, D2, Diana Wells, Diana the Doll Fairy, Doll Oasis, Doltsburn New Look, Emily Erickson, Emily McKenney, Gio Sindo, Jacqueline, Jetta Grace, Kiwi of Doom, Cornelia Luki S, Leila Soto, Luna and Stella Dolls, Midori Kiwi, Mira, Michaela Wallace, Mizu Yagami, Orlando Rosario, Pride Crochet, Kirin Doll, Rachel Gatlin, Rin Sunomori, Rose Pendleton, Sally L, Sananas, Sharon Steins, Sophie Lesher, Stubby and the Kids, Sugarloom Gift Shop and Veronica Haynes. Thank you guys so so much for your support. Also, since we reached the first goal on Patreon, I'm having a Patreon exclusive contest. So if you become one of my patrons, you get the chance to win a repainted doll by me. You can find the link to my Patreon page in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for some future custom fun. See you in the next video and have a beautiful creative day. Bye! Pew pew, we're done. <laughs>